Hello everyone. Welcome to Charlene's Kitchen. It's Monday. It's around 11 or so. Um, I decided to make some chicken soup and I thought, you know, I'm not going to plunk those big fat little chicken legs right in the water, which I do. I, I'm always uh, wired up somehow <laughs> and I thought, I'm going to fry them up. I'm going to get that skin on that chicken nice and brown. I threw that onion in there. I want to get that uh, kind of blackened a little bit, okay? Then I'm going to throw it into the water. And I have my pot going already. I never fill it up completely, okay? This pot, about not quite half full, until my chicken is done, or uh, near done, then I start adding more water to it. I want it to get nice and tender before I do all that, because then I can just scrape off uh, some of the fat uh, before I add all my other goodies to it. Now once I get this chicken nice and brown and that onion nice and brown, uh, I'm going to put it in that wa hot boiling water so it's just ready to go. You don't want to lose it. You don't want to put it in cold water now after you've got it all geared up and going. So now here I've got my veggies that I'm going to put into that water. Uh, some carrots, celery, and about, oh, about seven cloves of garlic and um, I'm probably going to add some salt to it maybe uh, a tablespoon when I as I get started however I have already salted up these chicken legs so get back to you when I get them in the pot and brown up that chicken is browning up really nice I want to get that skin cooked up and look at that onion that's a beauty um, what I'm going to do, uh, when this soup is complete, the last 10 minutes, I am going to put some orzo in it. I like orzo. Nice little tasty treat. And, uh, we're going to put this in the pot pretty soon. On the other side, is nice and brown. And let it go for about another, well, 30, 40 minutes. Those chicken uh, legs are pretty chubby, so they're going to take a while to cook up. Those nice, crispy, uh, skinned chicken legs, and you can see that onion got really nice and uh, more than brown. And I put my um, uh, celery and my carrots and my cloves of garlic, about, uh, I think, five or six maybe, and I don't bother chopping them up. I just throw them in because by the time this is done, uh, those garlic cloves will have been, uh, they've been history. See you in a little while. Rather than uh, put uh, salt into that uh, water, um, I added about a tablespoon of uh, uh, chicken flavor bouillon, Norris uh, chicken flavor bouillon, about a tablespoon, okay? Another thing I want to tell you now, don't go giving this a rolling boil, just on a nice simmer, okay? This is where it not wants to cook nice and slow. So give it a, cover it up, cover it up, and let it simmer, and check it, we'll check it again in an hour, but I, I don't think I told you that, you know, not a rolling boil, it should be gentle, so that the chicken just cooks real nice and sweet. Hi, uh, you know we were making that chicken soup, and uh, so we're going to continue now. Uh, I want to show you how to build up with your seasoning. Once the chicken was done, and, and I have to tell you, that chicken cooked up sooner than I thought because they were big chicken legs. But we did fry them ahead of time, really nice and brown. And I think maybe that might be. So I checked it after around uh, 35 minutes after we started cooking, after we put them in the pot. And they were done, okay? And it was just a slow cook. And I want to show you how beautiful uh, that chicken uh, turned out. Now, what I did, I took the chicken bones, chicken legs out, and I scraped the chicken off, you know, like you would shred your your uh, uh, pork or, or, you know, or other for barbecue, for instance. That's a little piece of fat there. I took off that little bit of fat that was around because uh, it's not appealing and it got soft. And so I scraped that off 
and put it in a little strainer. I took out all the, um, you know, the weepy celery, but I kept the carrots. I love the carrots and I mashed them. I've got a bay leaf in there. Why? Because I'm going to put all my seasonings in here so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, so now we're going to put, uh, I'm going to start out, I've got them all lined up here. And this is um, a little basil, okay? So uh, this is a, nope, that's too much. No, 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 no. That was a half a tablespoon. I don't want it to have a tablespoon. I'm going to put one teaspoon. One teaspoon, okay? I'm going to put it in with those carrots. And when, you, when you're seasoning, line up your stuff, then you don't omit or you don't forget that, oh, did I do that or didn't I do that? Now, I am also going to put uh, one teaspoon of turmeric. And, and look what happened there. All right, so I got to slop it back in. <laughs> Too much came out. So approximately one teaspoon. I had to throw some back in because it, it jumped on me. Uh, now, a little garlic powder. Yeah, no, maybe not quite that. Okay, half a teaspoon. I have here a little garlic pepper. And the, the soup definitely needs seasoning. I already tasted it, and so I'm going to put half a teaspoon in there. What have I got here? A little rosemary garlic, just a little bit, about a half a teaspoon. Uh, now, uh, this is a lemon pepper. I like this one. It's got a little zip to it. I'm going to put a little in there. Okay, about a half a teaspoon, and I'm going to put uh, a half a tablespoon of parsley. I'm going to put that in there. Okay, so all those, I also want to tell you that when I took the chicken out, I skimmed off some of the fat, and that's in this little, in this, it's in this little dish here. So I skimmed off the fat, and I took out all those weepy, uh, vegetables, you know, the celery and the onion, that all gets very limp, you know, and I don't want that all in there. So I, I, I'll show you. I put it in this little strainer, okay, and I put all that in there, and the chicken fat I took. So I'm just going to get rid of all of that. But, all right, so now the soup is hot. I added, um, oh, two more cups of water because now I'm going to build. I'm not going to get... I don't want the pot all the way. I just want to keep the flavor that I have, but it needed a lot. Okay, because all we added was uh, a tablespoon of the Nor uh, chicken bouillon. So I'm going to add this now, the, the, uh, the carrots and all those seasonings that we measured out. Okay, that's going to all go in there. And then I must tell you that you're going to think this is goofy, but, you know, I stripped all the chicken, most of it, off the bone, but I left some yet, and I put it back in the broth. I want it to sit there and cook a little longer, right? Because, again, it's the bone in that creates the, the broth. If you just buy little uh, chicken breasts, I don't know what that's going to do for you. You're going to have to season. I have to season this anyway. But it's going to be very like the chicken ran through it. And But when you buy uh, uh, thighs uh, or chicken breast with the bone, take it with the bone. Everything, it's going to cost you less money. And they give you these chicken breasts with no bone, no, no uh, uh, skin on it. I want the skin on it because I can brown it off. That's where your flavors are. Okay, so we still have those chicken bones in there. No, no problem for me on that. So I'm going to now, um, I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna taste it. I don't know, we put all that in there. I wanna see where I'm at. Always taste it and never, never I said an hour on the chicken. The chicken was perfect in 35 minutes. So I took it out. It probably wouldn't have hurt, but why Why keep it going? Let's see. No, that needs more 
So I'm going to tell you my little secret. I put uh, a one little package of Lipton's chicken noodle soup to a Richard plate. I'm going to throw that in there because I want it to taste like that, like it should taste. And it's going to be great. You've got the chicken bones and you, you put, uh, now don't kid yourself, in these restaurants, they put plenty of stuff in there that you have no idea and it tastes so good. When I have soup from a restaurant, I'm thirsty all day. A lot of salt. So, but anyway, here... We're going to put that in there. We're going to bring that to a simmer. I'm going to um, take the chicken now, which we have a, quite a bit of chicken. This is, whoa, sorry. Where did it go? Okay. We have a lot of chicken here. And so when you have this chicken soup, it'll be like a meal. All right, so I'm going to put all that beautiful chicken back in the broth with the seasoning with this chicken noodle soup, I'm going to bring that to a simmer. And when I get it to a simmer, uh, well, I, it's, it is quite warm, but it's not simmering. I wanted to bring it up a little bit. I'm then going to add my orzo. Um, I don't know if you ever used orzo. It's a delightful, tiny little, uh, tiny little noodle. Very tiny. I'll show you in my hand. And see, it's just, I don't know if you can see. No, nope, you don't see that. It's tiny. It's like a little, like a little raindrop thing, you know. It's sort of like a, it looks like an opal. Actually, it looks like an opal. So I'm gonna dump that in there right now because everything's cooked. But the orzo takes about ten minutes, and we added our Lipton chicken noodle soup. That'll that's just to enhance the flavor. Then we're gonna see where we're at. And don't forget a little bay leaf and the, and your turmeric. You know, I found out too that. They use the turmeric to get that nice golden flavor. Hmm? All, isn't that amazing? All these different things that you learn. Now, uh, another thing you could do, and I think I'm going to do that, um, I am going to add a little lemon juice. Just um, <clears throat> very quickly. I didn't think of it until now. But I wanted to show you not just throwing stuff together. I just want to show you to make it good. You want to make something that, oh, it's delightful. When you sh share this with, with your husband or your family, and they go, oh, that's what you want, right? So I'm going to squeeze a half a lemon in there. It brightens everything up, okay? Because I'm not putting vinegar in here or anything. You have to have some little thing. So half a lemon. All right, we're gonna cover this for a minute so we can get it up to like in about 10 minutes and then we're gonna plate it up. See you in a little bit. Hello, we finished our soup. I plated it up for you. And I wanted to tell you something. When you strain the fat off the top of the soup as it, you, you can see it's on, on the very top, it starts to set up and you put it in a little container, put it in your refrigerator and let it get solid and then throw it out. Don't throw it down your drain, okay? I, I have to tell you, I added the other half of that lemon. I left it out so I wouldn't forget. So I actually put a whole lemon. Now, taste it. See if you like that. I like a lemon chicken and uh, it just, it came out pretty good. When you make a meal like this, it's a meal, okay? You don't have to have anything else. Hold on, I'm going to show you uh, what I did here. Here we are. I say treat it like a meal because it is. You've got your pasta in there. You've got gobs of chicken. You serve it with a little glass of wine and some roses and a candle. And I even made some garlic bread to go with it. So enjoy this, these flavors and serve them to your family so they can go, wow, do you have another bowl of that?